speech today. Uh, the title of his speech is, I said no, I don't need it. The purpose of Craig's project is for him to learn or review basic research methods uh, and present a well-organized and well-researched speech on the topic. Thank you. Awesome, thanks so much, Josh. Craig is in Terrytown, New York, about one hour north of Manhattan. He can see the fear in the eyes peering over the masks of faces on New York residents as they move off the trail 20 feet to let Craig pass. After seeing the New, New Yorkers stressed and fearful faces, Craig feels compelled to review a video he recently watched by Dr. Bruce Lipton titled, The Human Immune System, What Happens During a COVID Infection? Please help me welcome Craig Hefer with his speech titled, I Said No, I Don't Need It. You're on mute, Craig. Do you watch the news? Do you watch the news every day? How do you feel after you watch the news? Pleasantly relaxed or stressed, fearful, and upset? No, Bruce Lipton was not the inventor of Lipton tea. Although if I had that name, that would be my preferred tea. He wrote several enlightening books, including The Honeymoon Effect, The Biology of Belief, and Spontaneous Evolution. Lipton was one of the first to really dig in and study epigenetics, or the study of how the environment determines gene expression. I'm gonna talk about three personal opportunities for bulletproofing your immune system. They're food, meditation. No, I didn't say medication, I said meditation and activity. Or as Bruce Lipton states in his video, they are underlying chronic health conditions, stress and exercise. I will start with underlying chronic conditions. Lipton states that 40% of Americans have two or more underlying chronic conditions and that 60% of Americans have one or more underlying chronic health conditions. The underlying health conditions can be diabetes, prediabetes, being overweight, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, cancer, arthritis, arthritis in your foot perhaps. Keep in mind that just because a person doesn't have outward symptoms doesn't mean they don't have one or more of these conditions. After all, these diseases may fester and develop for decades before any symptoms are observed. Lipton takes a few minutes to discuss B cells and T cells of the immune system and how they work. He finally ties it together by saying that the immune system is limited and already very busy if it is dealing with underlying chronic conditions. The capacity then for dealing with a previously unknown disease or virus in this case is compromised. And even so, Lipton states that 80% of Americans exposed to COVID have minimal or no symptoms. One way to determine how active your immune system is, is to look at your white blood cell count from your medical lab work. If the count is at the low end of normal range or even below normal, your body doesn't have a lot of inflammation and the immune system may be just standing by, ready to wipe out that unknown foreign pathogen. The second opportunity for enhancing your immune system is eliminating stress. Lisa Rankin corroborates Lipton in her book, Mind Over Medicine, when she said her epiphany was discovering that the body can be in one of two states, either stressed or relaxed. When your body is stressed, it has cortisol cursing through it, and you're in a fight or flight mode. Your immune system shuts down 
for an immediate danger. If you're chronically stressed, your immune system is compromised. For you who watch the news, do you feel relaxed afterwards? Or do you feel the negative energy and fear from the news reports? Lipton specifically mentions how watching the news about the pandemic can cause fear, stress, and cortisol being released into your body. The third immune enhancing activity is exercise. Your body is fluid in every sense of the word. If you are sedentary, the fluid, and in particular, your lymphatic fluid will have a tougher time cleaning up the unwanted microorganisms. So what can you do? Number one, a plant-based whole food diet. And what do I mean by plant-based whole food? I'm talking about whole plants, things that grow out of the ground, unprocessed, uncontaminated with chemicals and, and fertilizers and so on. A plant-based whole food diet is the only diet that is anti-inflammatory and proven to prevent and reverse diseases. Move towards a plant-based whole food lifestyle. Number two, turn off the news. Instead, take a forest bath. That is, take a relaxing walk in the forest. Number three, exercise at least three and a half hours a week. That is 30 minutes a day. It could be a brisk walk, a workout in the gym, a swim, a hike, or just gamble about for 30 minutes. In fact, why not combine it with your forest bath? A friend of mine recently texted me and told me he had just had a COVID vaccine shot and asked if I would take one. I said, no, I don't need it. I eat only anti-inflammatory plant-based whole food and my white blood cell count is below normal. My immune system is just waiting to take out that COVID virus. I've turned off the news meditate, not medicate, meditate, and have created along with my amazing and beautiful wife, a relaxing lifestyle. I run, walk, and hike over 40 miles a week. I stretch and work out another hour and a half per week. Madam Toastmaster. Powerful, thank you, Craig. Mila and Craig offering the one-two punch this morning on some really thoughtful